Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Nolly. Happy New Year and welcome to the first vlog of 2022. I'm gonna do a week in my life because technically this is my first official week of being self-employed. If you guys didn't see my previous video, I actually quit my job in December. So now I am a full-time freelancer. I do photography, videography, and then all of my YouTube, Instagram, TikTok kind of stuff. So I'm extremely excited to be starting 2022 off with such a big change and I'm just really excited to like get going with it. I'm still pretty overwhelmed, I'll be honest. I quit December 13th and so I decided to give myself a little vacation um, because I was traveling so much. I was going home and then I was going to Dallas for New Year's Eve. So I kind of pushed everything off to the new year and now it is really real and I'm just like, so overwhelmed i really don't even know where to start because i have so much to do one of the biggest things that i want to prioritize now that i don't have any excuses is working out and eating healthy um so this morning i did my first workout of the year brian told me about this kind of workout plan called push and pull days um so i'm gonna do even more research about it and if it like ends up working obviously it will because you know if i'm like going from not working out to you know working out a bunch in a week then it, obviously it's gonna do something basically you have one day where you'll do like pushing exercises um, and then one day of rest and then one day of pulling exercises and then one day of rest I believe and then you do core and abs and legs I think so I'm gonna try it out and let you guys know what I think and then for like eating healthier I think I'm going to try and do calorie counting again just because I feel like that really did make the biggest difference and kind of made me choose healthier options because I don't really have a choice so I'm gonna try to start that today but Ryan and I's anniversary is actually on January 7th and we made two like really nice dinner reservations so we're gonna go to Uchi which we've never been to we love sushi and we've never been able to get in at Uchi. So I made this reservation a month out and then the next day we're actually going to Sammy's Italian restaurant and people rave about that place. So we're very excited, but this week we are going to try to eat really, really healthy. I'm also just really excited to be home and not have any travel planned because I feel like the past like two months, I feel like I haven't even been home in Austin and it just is kind of sad. I really like being at home, being in my routine. So I'm just glad to be back. Currently, I need to just like clean up the place. We actually got our apartment professionally cleaned right before we headed to Dallas for New Year's Eve and I was so happy and our shower is still really spotless and I'm just like, dang, I really need to like start getting my apartment like cleaned every month or so. Like, I don't know if I'll need it. I just need to do organizing. Like I need to get rid of a bunch of stuff. Not that I will be able to because I'm a hoarder low key. But the first thing we're gonna attack are my makeup drawers because I've been living out of a makeup um, bag this whole time. But I actually wanna put my makeup into drawers and try to organize it. We took my car to Dallas so I could fit everyone in there and I had to clean up my car. And this was all in my trunk. Like what the heck? And I don't wanna put it in just yet because I kinda wanna get my car detailed so Maybe I'll put it back or like purge some stuff or like, I don't know. I just feel like I need to get rid of like a random shit in the closet. So maybe that can go in the closet. But I wanted to show you guys these things that I got off of Amazon. These are like drawer dividers and I'm not sure if it's going to be very helpful for my makeup drawer. But basically you can like press them in so that they fit to your drawer. And it's like, oh, I don't know if they're actually going to fit because I was planning on putting them long ways but they're not tall enough to like actually have tension on them. Wait, I'm sad. I was like looking for these everywhere. I was like getting so upset that I couldn't find them. Okay, well, I don't know how I'm gonna organize this freaking makeup drawer, but basically I want to try to get ready like every single day because it will just make me feel more productive. So I almost wanna organize my makeup in a way that it's like everyday makeup, very basic, very simple, and then like glam makeup on the other side. So let's figure this thing out. Today's been quite the struggle because I feel like any day I work out in the morning, I just feel so freaking tired throughout the day and my midday slump hits worse than on a regular day. So I am just feeling really sleepy, but um, I just made some edits to a brand TikTok that I am submitting through like their platform. Um, just waiting for that to upload. I don't know why my internet speed is being so slow, but 
Uh, it makes me so mad. This morning, I edited my whole um, sit-down video where I explained why I quit my job. I scheduled that for 4 p.m. today. I just didn't know like when people actually watch videos. I know a lot of people work from home still, and I personally watched a lot of YouTube while I was doing my work when I was working from home, but I just thought 4 p.m. would be a good time to schedule that. And then next on my to-do list is to pick some selects for a Princess Polly collab. I've also been going through my emails when I was like kind of chilling, um, deleting random stuff and then flagging the things that I need to answer. I feel like I don't really love answering emails on my phone. I like deleting them. I like going through them, but like I would rather reply to a full email on my computer. I don't know why. I feel like it just makes me feel better. Um, I also did get hungry, so I grabbed a little lemon bar kind of thing. It was like 70 calories. Um, and I really want to make these chipotle bowls for tonight, but I don't know if we'll go grocery shopping after dinner or before But I kind of want to go before because bachelor is starting tonight and I did not watch Michelle's season That was like the first season. I haven't watched in literally years because I've been watching it since Sean Lowe was on the bachelor And I don't know why but I feel like a lot of people were just not very like interested in Michelle's season. I just feel like it was just too much of the back-to-back -back bachelorettes, you know? So I'm excited to see a bachelor because I feel like those are more fun to watch anyways. I also need to come up with a meal plan before I go to the grocery store because I also want to stop like overbuying when I go to the grocery store because I am so bad at that. I love going down every aisle and seeing what fun new snacks they have and I always want to try them. So that is definitely where I spend like random money that I don't need to be spending. I'm hoping that it's easier now that I'm going to do like this calorie counting thing or attempt to because then I'll actually have certain foods that I can like eat like the low calorie stuff. So all right, I'm going to get back to doing emails. Thing uploaded okay yes all right gonna submit that all right so it is 4 48 and i just came up with kind of like a meal plan that i want to eat for the rest of the week and i'm gonna try to kind of eat the same meals over and over again just because i really want to lower my grocery budget um and see if i can do it i mean i know it's possible i just can't be picky which sucks because i feel like food is like one of the things I most enjoy but it is cold out there and we're gonna take Sophie to the park or somewhere <laughs> to get a little energy out um, so I'm just bundling up got my puffer on <laughs> and I'm ready to go Sophie just pooped in the garage and then got a poop stuck in her butt so now we have to go wash her are you feeling better now that there's no poop in your butt we washed it out now we are at Thick Matthias or Thick Matthias. Please, whoever is from Austin, please tell us how you pronounce it because. Auditorium Shores to stay safe. Yeah. Everyone says Auditorium Shores, but I guess this specific park is Thick Matthias or Thick Matthias. So let us know. from H-E-B and I don't really want to do like a whole grocery haul just because it's a bunch of random things but I will try to show you guys what I eat like every single day because like I said I'm going to do a calorie deficit diet or at least attempt to um but I got some sushi for dinner um because I think I said that it was only like 300 calories so I was like heck yes oh my oh no Oh, that's cute. Dang it. Got my hair out of my face because I'm going to start like prepping some foods like vegetables and also my favorite new chicken recipe um, is literally so easy. I put it in the Instant Pot and use this chicken taco seasoning with a little bit of sour cream. I marinate it overnight, chop the chicken up in the plastic bag, and then you just put it in the Instant Pot and then you just create like a taco bowl. It's so good. So I'm gonna do a little bit of prepping while I watch The Bachelor. Good morning, happy 
happy Tuesday. It is 9.25 and we're gonna go get my car detailed finally. Um, we're gonna go to somewhere on South Lamar, I'm pretty sure. This morning I woke up really, really sore so I ended up not going to the gym, but that's fine because today is technically my rest day. Um, so yesterday, I can't remember if I did a push or a pull, but I wanna say I did a pu push. And then tomorrow I'm gonna do a pull day. And then another rest day and then core and abs. I'm already feeling like really good about myself. I kind of like hate feeling sore, but I also really like it because it feels like I'm doing something. Today, I also need to make it a content day because I realized I have not posted on Instagram in like forever. And I just really want to get back into like styling outfits for Instagram and you know, taking photos, bringing my tripod random places and taking photos. So I don't know if that will happen today, but I feel like I need to come up with a game plan and really post on Instagram like consistently because this is the year of growth. So let's do it. So we just got home from dropping off my car and now I'm gonna make some egg white bites in the oven. So I'm just gonna do probably spinach, onion, tomato, tell Ryan because I know he eats tomatoes. <laughs> um, but what else? I did some meal prepping last night which made me feel like very good and productive and I'll have that for like our meals this week. Ooh, I have prosciutto. Maybe I should throw that in there too. taste test. I baked these for 18 to 20 minutes at 350 so hopefully it's good enough. It's still really hot. Pretty dang good. I just put all the other egg bites in this container so we can eat it throughout the week. I just ate two and it was pretty filling so hopefully that feeling lasts a while. It's 1214, my car is ready. They called me and they were like, hey, do you have the key to your car? I was like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? Where is my key? But they found it, so my car is ready. Um, and we're gonna go pick that up. I remember yesterday being like, I really wanna put on makeup every day. I wanna like get dressed every day. Look at me today. I guess just not all days it's gonna happen. Um, but I should have probably created some content yesterday. I don't know. I just feel like I have so much computer work to like even get done and like think about that. I need to like figure that stuff out first before I can create content. But again, I need to be posting on Instagram. So it's just like, ah, where do I start? There's just like too much. But anyways, we're gonna go get the car and hopefully it's beautiful and shiny. Pulling up and we saw my car and it literally looks like a new car. Ryan said that I should get it waxed, so I did that. It's good too. Yay, it looks so good. Hey, took the sticker off. My leather is literally shining. Wow. <laughs> There was literally like mold in my center console and they took it out so i'm happy this is where all the mold is so now i can actually use like the deeper hole um but usually i just put my hydro flask in here and it would like slide around and it was so annoying and then this was also really dirty up in here so i'm very happy i feel like i always end up vlogging in my kitchen but honestly the window's right there we have good lighting we have a table like everything's perfect in the kitchen so that's probably why i'm so attached to it on the way home i actually stopped by my last apartment complex because a brand sent a package there they actually sent it 
there when I lived here like the last time and then I was like oh hey I have a new address please send it to here next time because like that was kind of like annoying I mean I didn't really say that but you know it was kind of an inconvenience um for them to like get the package out of the locker and stuff and like thank god they found it that time but they said yeah okay updated in our system like good to go for the next time blah blah of course they send it to this old apartment again and I'm like literally like two messages up saying like oh we've updated your address and like what the hell like anyways um so I asked my apartment complex to hold the box but I was out on vacation I was like home for a really long time so I just went to pick it up today and of course they lost it so yeah that sucks but I mean at least it wasn't something I purchased because that kind of would have sucked worse I mean I really wanted the stuff I don't even know what was in the box hopefully it doesn't happen again um hopefully he finds it I was like hey if you find it call me it's 139 and I'm really not that hungry but I feel like I should eat to prevent getting like hangry so I'm having um this yogurt so delicious strawberry flavor I love I want to say wait what flavor is it is it vanilla is it coconut i don't even know no it's coconut milk what is the yellow one i don't even know but this is a strawberry one and i actually got this to put in smoothies because i couldn't find any greek yogurt that was just like um dairy free this is 120 calories and then i'm just gonna put some granola on top to make it a little bit crunchy i love this kind of granola i've actually tried a couple this is the kind oats and honey granola i swear it's like the best um but I'm really happy because I posted like the egg whites video on my story and I've gotten so many replies um, just saying I should like share more recipes and ideas and meal inspo. I was honestly even scared to like share that I was doing this calorie counting thing because I know a lot of people have different opinions on it. And personally, it was really, really helpful for me to lose weight this way because it's just like choosing the healthier option. Like I could have a cookie for 240 calories or I could have like two bags of popcorn for 200 calories. It really teaches you just like what you're eating on a daily basis. And it's kind of shocking how many calories I usually eat. So that's why I really like it. And obviously being in a calorie deficit, it really helps you to lose weight as well. The only other diet thing that's really helped was doing keto. And I know a lot of people also say that's unhealthy, but it is crazy how fast you can lose weight with keto. It's definitely not sustainable. And that is why I'm not doing keto right now. But I thought calorie counting could kind of kickstart just like this health grind. I also just want to cook at home more and stop eating out as much. So I'm hoping that doing this calorie counting thing will kind of just encourage me to do so. I've been sitting at my desk answering some emails that I've been procrastinating answering just because they were, you know, register for the, like put your information in and I just like didn't have the time to do it on my phone. And I think I said this yesterday, I prefer answering emails on my computer. And I feel like I definitely was not on my computer as much this past month and I really slacked off. And that is another New Year's resolution is to reply to emails like when I see them. Sometimes I'll literally read an email and then like mark it as unread so I can come back to it later but then days go by where I don't answer and I really need to stop doing that. I made a second snack. I don't even know if I was hungry or if I just wanted like something to munch on. These are mini bell peppers. I had them at my mom's house and they are so yummy and just crunchy and this is roasted red pepper hummus. Two tablespoons was I think 70 calories or something um and two tablespoons was actually a lot like that seemed like just very little in my head um because I love to like just dunk something in hummus and like get a lot of hummus on the vegetable but honestly it's really filling and I know it's only day two but I'm just like really happy and proud of myself like I always feel better when I eat better why do I eat bad like I just don't get it I'll get in phases where I go nuts with like the healthy food and stuff like that and cook a lot and it literally makes me feel so good and then I have like one weekend where I eat not the healthiest and then it just like throws me off and then it just makes me not want to eat healthy again I don't know what it is but one little weekend can just throw me off like that that's what happened last year and I was so pissed at myself that I let that happen I can't really guarantee that that's not gonna happen again but at least I know what I do to myself, <laughs> like I self-sabotage, so hopefully that won't happen this time. Um, but yeah, the snack is really good, and I'm going to get back to just clearing my inbox. I just want to start the new year with a clear inbox. For tonight's dinner, we're going to do chicken taco bowls. It's one of our favorite meals that I've probably ever made. Um, basically, you just use a chicken taco packet. I actually used two since I did a lot more chicken because I wanted some leftovers. 
um because usually there's not much leftovers when i make this but this is the packet that i usually get um so like i said i just put two of those packets i use chicken breast this time ryan right i think i did breast oh wait thighs okay yeah i did thighs cut it up put the mix in it and then put a little sour cream and then just marinated it overnight now i'm going to stick this in my instant pot and use the um pressure cooker okay just want to separate the chicken pieces a little bit and then we will turn on the pressure cooker the hardest part about using this instant pot is getting the lid on because i just do not understand Every time I use it, I don't understand how I'm supposed to like click it in. Because if it's not clicked in, it does not work. Oh yes. All right. We're gonna start with 15 minutes and then see if it needs to be cooked for longer. While that's cooking, I'm gonna cook some veggies. So last night I meal prepped the red pepper and yellow pepper, and then I have some onions too. Okay, so we have our rice, bell peppers, onions, chicken. I'm gonna put an avocado on top and probably do some salsa. This chicken is so juicy. First bite taste test. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. Ryan! Let's go. 8.7 out of 10. Good morning. It is Wednesday. I worked out today. It was a pull day and I actually really like lifting weights because I feel like you just burn calories a lot faster and you're not just like doing the same monotonous thing like walking on the treadmill or something. So that was kind of nice. And now we're gonna go take Sophie to her grooming appointment. I actually just made her an appointment somewhere else. I think they're like a little bit more expensive, but I just kind of wanted to get her in. And it's on the east side, so we don't have to drive like too, too far. I mean, the other one was like probably on South Mar, so it's really not that far from us, but it's definitely convenient when it's like literally just up the road. At first I wanted to find somewhere that just did like face trimming because maybe that would be a little bit cheaper and we kind of like like her body hair a little bit longer, but it was literally a $15 difference. Like I think the face trimming, sanitary trimming was like $50 and then the whole haircut was like 70. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll just do the haircut and get it done now. <laughs> we just got home from getting my car fixed and dropping Sophie off and now I'm gonna try to reheat these egg white bites I'm really hoping it's like totally fine and tastes just like yesterday um, because I don't know I feel like eggs being reheated is kind of weird but I have high hopes so let's try it I'm really hungry today, so I think I'm going to add some fruit on the side, just do some raspberries before they go bad. I feel like I always get raspberries because I want them, and then I forget that they're even in the fridge, which is so annoying. I'm also going to just put a little salsa on the side. Just give it a little more flavor. It's already pretty spicy because I added some chili flakes, but bon appetit. Hi, Sophie. You look so cute. <laughs> we just picked Sophie up from the groomers and honestly, this probably is one of her best haircuts because I always dread getting her hair cut. She always comes back looking like a boy in really short hair. Um, but now I'm going to eat lunch. It's 12.25. Got some leftovers from last night. And also the eggs reheated were not bad at all. Like they tasted like they did yesterday. I went through the application process to get the Southwest Chase credit card. I just feel like my Bank of America credit card that I use for my business doesn't really do shit for me. Like, yeah, I get a little cash back here and there, but I feel like it's nothing. 
and so i am definitely wanting like a better card even for travel so my sister actually gave me a referral link for the chase southwest card so I went and did the application. My whole family has the Delta Amex and that was my personal card for a really long time. But honestly, now I feel like every other airline is kind of competing with Delta and Delta is like not that special anymore. I don't know why, but I just have that feeling and Southwest is really like rising to the fame. Also, if you didn't know this, now you know that Delta, I'm pretty sure they started this like in December. You will not be earning miles if you buy an economy ticket. It's, it's only if you buy like Comfort Plus or like business that you'll actually be earning miles, which is so annoying. <laughs> so that kind of like pissed me off too. So I went through the whole application and then I got to pretty much like the end of what I thought it was. And there was like a um, like verifying screen. It took forever. So I started editing my vlog. And then when I came back to the screen, like maybe 15 minutes later, it said that the session timed out. I called them and then they had this automated thing where you could check like the application status. And it said that they couldn't even find my application under my social security number. Uh, I got an email saying that my car was gonna get delivered. So I'm really confused. I might just like wait and see if it's gonna get delivered or not. But that's really annoying because applications take time. So I'm gonna take a break from everything and do something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I actually washed um, this uh, duvet cover. I don't think it's really fully dry yet. Also, I wanna like kind of de-wrinkle it a little bit. So never mind, I'm going to put it back in the dryer. But when that's done, we can change the bedding and then the pillows are actually coming like today or tomorrow. So hopefully you guys can see the whole thing in this video. It's all dry, but the pillowcases are kind of wrinkly. So I think I'm just gonna steam them. I saw that this one influencer on TikTok steams her bed every day, which is a little bit much to do every day, but honestly, I thought that was very smart because there's always like little wrinkles in my bed, especially because I do content and stuff that I like get so pissed about. I'm like, why is that wrinkle there? So that is going to be very life-changing now that I know that. So the steamer is heating up. I actually got a new steamer, so it's my first time using it. It is 5 42 i accidentally took a nap i just got really tired all of a sudden and i feel like working out early in the morning is just not helping that like midday slump that i'm getting so i gave in today and i took a nap and i'm really mad at myself because today was supposed to be a content day but i ended up doing like a lot of computer work and stuff um there's always tomorrow though but we're gonna go to probably saltillo and maybe go for a walk with Sophie. Kind of just want to get out of the house, get some exercise, because then that means I get to eat more <laughs> on my my fitness pal. I'm like logging all my calories for the calorie counting thing on an app called My Fitness Pal, and I've like done it before on there, and it's really really easy. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go there, and hopefully, I was thinking we could go to Target and give me some of those ice ice drinks. Target. Yeah, and so to you, I'm like really craving. Sprite. <laughs> We're back home and I got my ice. This is the pink grapefruit flavor and it's five calories. When I was doing calorie counting last time, somebody was like, those are really bad for you, but I feel like it's not as bad as Sprite. So ice it is, but I'm currently cooking a broccoli and chicken stir fry. Um, I bought like this packet of chicken breast um, for like under $4 and I made so many of our meals with it. It is insane. And then I went to Target to get more chicken for like tomorrow's meal because I thought we were running low, but I'm actually saving some. Um, but their chicken was like $9 for just two little chicken thigh breast things. And I was like, what the hell? I feel like when I was growing up, I used to shop at Publix and Target all the time. Um, but now obviously that we're in Texas, we shop at HEB. We used to shop at Walmart, but HEB is just so convenient because it's literally on every corner. Um, but for the stir fry, I did sesame oil, my favorite. It's probably not the best. We did some garlic, um, a little bit of honey, salt, and some soy sauce. 
Good morning. It is Thursday and I am currently headed to another post-op appointment for my breast reduction surgery. I got my surgery on September 20th, so it's been quite a while now and the scars haven't, you know, completely disappeared, which I was kind of hoping for, but I know it's not very realistic because scars take years to heal sometimes and the doctor actually warned me since I have a darker complexion it might take even longer for the scars to heal and I was like well wow, lucky me <laughs> um but yeah we're just gonna go and get looked at I mean I don't really have any complaints nothing's really been hurting or anything so I don't think I'll probably vlog in the um medical room or whatever they call it um like I have been in the past just because I feel like this is going to be a quick one. I mean, even the last one, they just took photos and then they're like, okay, well, looks good. <laughs> so since this week is my first official week of being self-employed since I was home for the holidays and I kind of let myself have that vacation, I am still like struggling with structuring my days. I knew this was going to be a struggle, um, but for example, like yesterday, I told myself I wanted to have a content day because I really need content and it turned into a computer day and just like an errands day and then I accidentally took a nap again I don't know if I said that but I did and I was kind of mad at myself I'm not sure if it's because I've been working out in the mornings or just like eating less calories I mean I'm eating healthier than I probably ever have before but I think it's just like all of those factors that are making me sleepy slash hitting the midday slump and I know I can't just take naps in the middle of the day because I don't want to like I want to be productive I got so mad at myself that I took a nap yesterday but I mean obviously I felt a little bit better today I really want to make it a content day um when I get back home whether that's filming TikToks or like pulling looks for Instagram um so updates to come but that's something I really need to do <laughs> I didn't update you guys after my appointment, um, but she said they were healing really good, so happy to hear that. It was really quick though. Literally all these post-op appointments take like five minutes or less with the doctor. Let's open an ice cherry limeade. Let's do a taste test. Kind of tastes medicine-y. It is almost one kind of getting hungry. I honestly just want like mini peppers and hummus, but I feel like if I don't eat like an actual meal, I'm going to like get really hungry. Also, I got invited to Takiero Mucho's like preview party. I think it's like an influencer event, media event tonight because they're opening a new one in North Austin and the original one is kind of like downtown. It always has a line and it's like very pink inside. Even like the taco tortillas are pink so very pink themed and i honestly have never been just because of the lines and pink's not really my aesthetic anymore so nothing really lured me into going and then i also heard the food is like not that great but then i read a comment that somebody like tried the north austin's food and it's a hundred times better so i'll keep you updated on if it's good or not i heard their drinks are really good so i might try to get a drink um but yeah i'm trying to save all my calories for then so i can you know try their tacos and everything i've been filming TikTok talks and just creating content and stuff um finally doing it after so many days of saying i'm gonna have a content day um i did a couple of like amazon videos if you guys aren't already following me on tiktok go ahead and do so it's so underscore gnarly just like my instagram without the g by the way this shirt is from amazon i'll link it down below um but i actually decided to just like actually make a meal um so i had all these mushrooms Put it in a pan i'm gonna cook those i have this pesto that i was supposed to use yesterday but i actually ended up doing stir fry um i'm gonna use this and do like some quesadillas because i got some low carb quesadilla things locale whatever um i'm gonna probably put some spinach in it and then i still have a couple of pieces of leftover chicken i heated up the leftover chicken i did some spinach cooked down some spinach and then mushrooms and then we're gonna add the pesto to the quesadilla so let's do it also this is the brand it is 70 calories for one tortilla i made ryan's into a quesadilla and mine into a taco but it looks so good okay i decided that our floors need a little bit of mopping and just cleaning in general this is one of my favorite things i have probably ever gotten 
it mops and vacuums. I also realized that all of my hair was stuck in the vacuum part and I had to sit there and like take it out and it was really gross and like it was really in there. Now it's definitely working a lot better, at least the vacuum part is, now that I like took out all my hair. So now I know how to clean it. I just took Sophie out and I noticed I had some packages down there. There are two really exciting packages. You know what time it is, unboxing time. They are so pretty. I've been wanting to learn how to roller skate for literally like two years now. And I finally bit the bullet and bought some skates. So these are actually from Altered State. I wish you could like actually see like the color. It's really pretty. It's like a nude, almost like a peachy nude though. And then the straps are this pink color. Right, come look at my skates. You like them? Turn on. Now it's time to actually learn how to do it. I'm nervous. I also see. bought um, like pads and stuff on Amazon. They're still coming. Oh. Next up is from BH Photo, and it's not another lens. It's another camera body, which you guys probably think I'm fucking insane because I swear every video, every month, I'm like, new camera, new camera. <laughs> but there's reasons for that. So basically, the original Sony camera that I had was like the a7 III, yeah, and that one, I bought that one used, and all of a sudden the shutter gave out, or something was going really wrong, especially when I was doing video content, and obviously I had to get another camera, because like all of my jobs used my camera, so I ended up getting the Sony a7 S3, which that one was actually better for video, but then I took like photos with it and it just like was not as good as my other camera. Like if you zoomed in, it was fine. Like no one would really notice other than me. And I just really want the best for my photo clients. So I saw that Sony came out with a new camera and it's actually an upgrade of my original model. So this is the Sony A7 IV. Another main reason why I got the Sony a7S3 was because it had a flip out camera, or not a flip out camera, a flip out screen, and this camera has a flip out screen, so I can vlog with it. Ah! Oh my goodness. Wait, it kind of feels light, but I don't know if it's because it just doesn't have a lens on it, but this is my new baby, Sony a7 IV, and I cannot wait because grad season is starting soon and i think my first photo shoot of the year is next week so i get to test this baby out i think i'm gonna try it out and switch cameras and see if the quality of the video is any different i really doubt it to be honest but who knows let's let's see i forgot the worst part about getting a new camera is transferring all your settings like i think i have to do it manually which sucks because the color profiles are like just really annoying to like have to set <laughs> so I'm gonna figure that all out but you guys are on the new camera I'm so excited I can't tell if it's heavier or not I feel like the other camera was heavier but I think it's just my arms being sore from yesterday's workout got my tripod LaCroix Gator needs his gap right Ryan what I used to think it was Gator Needs His Gas. Oops. <laughs> I don't even know if I told you guys what we're doing right now, but every like anniversary, I love having pictures of me and Ryan. So we're taking our couple photo right now. Our anniversary is tomorrow. Nine freaking years together. Isn't that crazy? It's eight, babe. It's not eight, it's nine. Um, but okay, let's get this thing going. Hopefully, oh my, it's really cold outside. I was not expecting that. Okay. We just got done taking photos. What is this freaking focus? There we go. But well, we got the wedding photo. Nothing crazy. But like, I'm not. No. <laughs> I got a Facebook ad and it was like, submit cutest couples photos of Austin to get a one carat diamond ring. And I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna submit a photo. And he was like, I think that's a little weird because they're gonna give you a ring. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. That's a ring. Actual walnut tree. Did you eat them? 
Yeah. Well, outfit of the day for the Takiyar Mucho preview party. So this sweater is from TJ Maxx. Literally, I got it in high school and I wear it every winter, probably about 30 times at least. I love these little sleeves. They're like bows. So cute and so comfy. Um, and then I'm just wearing like a black bodysuit underneath to give me one more layer because I know I'm going to be freezing out there. And then these pants are Abercrombie & Fitch. And then boots are Dolce Vita. And we have my coat from Shop Red Dress. I think it's on their site again. Like it's back on their site for the winter time. So if it is, I'll link everything down below, but I'm gonna head out the door and pick up Mackenzie. Here with Mackenzie. It's been so long. Hello, friend. kind of, I guess. <laughs> I forgot we got drinks when I was back in Austin, but it has been a while. Um, and we, me, <laughs> I got us here a little too early and I always try to like arrive fashionably late, especially to like events like this, just cause you don't want to be like the first one there. I guess somebody has to be, but sitting I in the don't car. want to be. Yeah. <laughs> We've been sitting in the car for like the past maybe 20, 15 minutes and I still don't feel like I want to go in right now, but we're going to, we're just going to, um, go in. And I think there's free food, there's free drinks. Um, I think they're really known for their drinks. She was telling us, she was telling me that they had like those. Yeah, they have like pouches. Capri Sun. Capri oh yeah, Sun Capri kind of Sun drinks, yeah. So Everything's like, pink. <laughs> yes, yes, this place is known for being pink. Um, so everything looks really cool. Hopefully the food is good though, because I've heard some mixed reviews, but we'll let you guys know. morning it is friday and it is actually ryan and i's anniversary today we're celebrating nine years together i need to do my workout but last night me and mackenzie were talking about possibly going to a trampoline park tomorrow since it's going to be rainy i've been wanting to do that for so long and today was actually supposed to be like core and legs day and then i was thinking maybe that's not the best idea to do a leg day right before like a trampoline park because i didn't really want to be sore and not enjoy it as much so we're just gonna go on a walk somewhere downtown austin probably like ladybird lake trail and burn some calories that way idea what I vlogged today because I feel like I was just not in the mood to vlog. It was such a gloomy day today so it was kind of like a lazier day. I didn't really do much content just like computer work and it, there really wasn't that much to vlog but it is our anniversary and we're gonna go get some sushi at Uchi and we've never been at Uchi. It's very very well known in Austin probably like the top sushi restaurant in Austin so it'll be interesting to see if it's good or overhyped but last night I forgot to give you guys my review on Takiyaro Mucho. That drink was so good but I literally had had a pounding headache like two hours after I drank it but it was really good and the food I mean it was like average you know like I've definitely had better tacos but I feel like I do get disappointed when I get tacos at a restaurant a lot because we have like our favorite little taco truck and it's just like so good like nothing can beat it so I think overall like their guac was really good and their drinks were really good but I feel like it's more for like the experience of just like going in like a pink restaurant. And so it was definitely really cool. And they had like a DJ there. I'm not sure if he's there like all nights, but we are going to head out trying to make happy hour at Uchi. Cause apparently they have some good deals.
back home from Uchi and I feel like it definitely like lived up to the hype, but there were a lot of dishes that were just like really interesting. Not that they were bad at all, but they were very interesting. Also, the rice on the nigiri was so good. Warm, sweet, 100% better than sugarfish in LA. I don't know why Overall, I compared it to that. What? Overall. Just like the rice. I feel like oh. a lot of people like com like always say like, oh, sugarfish has like the warm rice, but that was like so good. What do you think? I didn't think it looked up to the hype at all. I'd give up. I guess it does have a lot of hype. Like a 7.2, 7.5. Happy anniversary, and I will see y'all in my next vlog. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, go do it. Bye.